What's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my protein waffle recipe. Numerous of you guys have hit me up in the DMs or text message wondering what is the recipe for my protein waffles and what are the macros? So finally, today I'm gonna be bringing you guys this content. First things first, you guys are gonna need a mixing bowl. After acquiring a mixing bowl, the first ingredient you're gonna need is oats. Personally, I use two servings of oats, 80 grams, and then I mix in two scoops of ghost whey. Ghost whey is perfect for baking because it not only has fast, but it has slow digesting protein. It has 12 and a half grams of isolate, 10 grams of concentrate, and 2.5 grams of hydrolyzed isolate. The concentrate really makes it a great protein to bake with. After you've added the 80 grams of oats in the two scoops of ghost whey, the next ingredient you're gonna need is one whole egg. After you guys have cracked yourself an egg into the mixing bowl, the next ingredient you're gonna use is some baking soda. I don't ever really measure the amount that I use, but I just sprinkle it. Mixing a little bit of baking soda just helps it become fluffier and gives you that true waffle texture. With that being said, with those ingredients and those amounts, I found that 140 mLs of water or whatever liquid you wanna use, whether that's almond milk, non-fat milk, is gonna be optimal for creating the best consistency for the waffles. Personally, I use water just because I like to save those carbs that I would use for milk for other things like syrup or peanut butter, but you can really use whatever liquid you want. After you guys have added in all those ingredients, you're gonna use a spoon or your utensil of choice to just mix up everything, create a good consistency. Then you are going to pour your batter into a waffle maker. Personally, I use a Belgian waffle maker because I like my waffles to be bigger. <laughs> That's Obi snoring over there. He woke up. Yeah. <laughs> waffles. <laughs> but you guys can really use any waffle maker that you desire. There's not a set amount of time that I like to leave the batter in the waffle maker, but I do routinely check it. I lift it up, just make sure that the waffles become brown, that they're not burnt, and that they're fluffy. Once the waffles are cooked to your guys' satisfaction, then you can begin to add the toppings such as peanut butter, pancake syrup, spray butter, and anything else you'd like to add. You can get creative and add chocolate chips. Again, guys, I'm gonna throw the macros up on the screen right now for you guys so you know exactly what the macros are for these waffles, they normally make, for me, two to three, but it really just depends how much batter you pour into the waffle maker each time. But you, you really could use like half the amounts of the ingredients that I've used to make these waffles to lower the macros, but this is just what I've found works best for me. In this off season, I'm not like low in carbs. So if you were lower in carbs and you were like prepping for a contest or something, you could cut it in half and do like one scoop of the whey, one scoop of the oats. But personally, this is what I like to do to make the waffles to my desire, to my satisfaction. So that's it, you guys. That is my waffle recipe. Super short, simple, but they are delicious. All of you guys that have been hitting me up in the DMs or texting me about this recipe in the macros, hope you guys enjoy these waffles. Let me know if you make them. Comment down below if you do. Those of you that are tuning in that didn't know that I make protein waffles and they are the best, you guys should definitely tune into my Instagram. I'll be linking that in the description box per usual. Um, pretty much post my waffles on IG as food porn every morning. So you guys are totally missing out on that if you're not following me on Instagram already. But that's it guys, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new for more recipes, more PA school content, and more lifting sessions. And until next time fam, hustle or bust.